Hello, you lovely people. Welcome back to my channel. Hmm. For another episode of my favourite puzzle games, guys. And have I got a blinder for you this time. A Nintendo classic. Featuring a Nintendo stable, guys. Literally. Couldn't get any bigger than Mario, can you? But what if he was to become a medical professional? Yeah, it's Dr. Mario, guys. Um, originally released in 1990 onto the NES and the Game Boy. Um, but as much as I love those versions, guys, and I really do, I adore them both, um, my favourite version came to the N64. Um, yeah, the Dr. Mario on the N64 just ups the ante, in my opinion, a lot. Uh, it looks absolutely fantastic. Obviously, it was uh, developed and released by Nintendo themselves. No crap there, eh? But yeah, there's just something about the N64 version that I love very, very much. Like I said, I do love the other versions because there's been others since then, of course. There's even a Dr. Mario on the Switch. Um, absolutely fantastic puzzle game, guys. Very Tetrisy again, but with some very nice elements there where you've got to clear out the pre-installed, um, shall we say, uh, bits and bobs. You've got to get rid of them, you know, the colours and what have you. Um, the viruses, as they would call them, of course. So, yeah, you've got the viruses there and you've got to clear them. All sorts of different modes that you can select on the N64 version. It's just a blinder, guys, whether you play uh, the story mode or not. Yeah, what a fantastic bloody puzzle game. And I know it's uh, dear in many, many people's hearts. As I say, right back from its dawn on the uh, the NES and the Game Boy. Uh, what I loved about the NES version was that it added colour. Although I played the Game Boy version a hell of a lot more. And it still played fantastic on that monochrome screen, guys. But, yeah, like I said... On the N64 version, guys, that is the one I most fondly remember because it just knocked my socks off when I saw it after playing the other versions for so long. It really, really did. It just brought it to a higher level for me. So, yeah, that is my favourite version of the classic Dr. Mario, guys, the N64 version. So, yes, would you like to join me as we take a look at this fantastic franchise guys right here we go for some terrible playing by myself once again but what a doozy of a game guys right back in a sec right here we go guys with another one of my favorite all-time puzzle games guys this is a no-brainer, but I actually adore this version, guys. Dr. Mario 64. It is fantastic. It's been fantastic on every system, but this is just... Put it up a notch, didn't it? Right, here we go, guys. Let's play this thing, shall we? Yeah, yeah one player. It's just me again, of course. So here's your selector mode, one player, two player, multiplayer options. But of course, yeah, we shall do one player. Shall we play classic? Yeah, we'll play classic. And then we'll play story afterwards. Yeah, go for classic first, guys. So you've got lots of choices here. Versus computer, flash, marathon, and all that goodness. Yeah, right, here we go. We'll go as a guest, yeah. And we'll keep it to... Mm, we'll go to easy, guys. For the purposes of this video, of course. And we'll go to low, yeah. And we'll keep the music the same. Yep, that'll do, won't it? Yes, it certainly will. There we go. Classic music here, guys, classic. Of course, we all know Dr. Mario, I'm sure. You've got your pills. You've got to try and clear the colours, as always. Well, 
okay. Just like that. Listen to that music though. Fantastic. Oh, bugger look. See, I love these games, guys, but I always get snookered. Yeah, very Tetris, of course, again, but um, in its own fantastic way. But keeping that same award-winning formula, shall we say, of Tetris at the same time. Like I say, I don't think there's many people out there who don't know of this game. I love wearing Mario's in the corner there. He needs a little doctor outfit. Brilliant, yeah, we'll continue, yeah. Beat that one. There we go, gets a bit harder, more stuff there to play. Hmm. It's always an annoying way to go to play. With ease, shall we say, no it's ever easy. But the N64 version just brings it oh, to the table, guys. It just that, The graphics are fantastic compared to, say, the Game Boy version. Obviously, it's going to be graphically much more impressive. Just snooping myself here. Okay. Oh, there we go. Made that. That's good. I got to do it again. Didn't turn it in time. See, this is the thing. Got to keep your eye on the ball and figure out where to go next. That is the thing. Which I'm not doing, of course. It's me, isn't it? Why would I do that? That would make sense. <laughs> There ain't no sense in my head, guys, as you know. And then you've got the trouble of getting it around the right way. No, oh, ah, yep, I got to get it in time. Damn it. Alright, we'll just keep going until I die. Dead. And we can take it for story mode, can't we? Okay. I'll uh, lower my head in shame. And I get completely out of here. Beaten! Oh, it is fantastic though. It's such a, huh, an actual pleasure to play this game though. It's fantastic. As much as it's beating my ass right now, it is fabulous. But there is no doubt. Either that at least, or something. Yes, nice one. Now, of course, it's speeding up like the clappers. Which is, of course, exactly what I don't want. <laughs> Not when you're just about to die, probably. I'm not quite there yet, but not far off, guys, eh? Oh, yeah, I screwed that up completely. 
I'm looking at. This one, this one, like that. Yes, guys, what a fantastic game. Again, if you love puzzlers, how could you not love this game? It's got Mario on it, for God's sake. And that is as good as it bloody gets, isn't it? Oh, shite, look at this, look. I'm just going to die, guys. going to die. And in fact, we need to look at story mode yet, so... Maybe I should purposely die. Well, I don't think I need any help. Mm, not whatsoever. I think I'm just going to die anyway. Let's see. Oh, yeah. oh there we go. Clear that. Oh dear me. Oh. Again, it's probably one of my favourite puzzle games, as I'm getting my ass whipped here. But it is, I'm honest, I love it. Spent many a rainy day playing this in the past, that's for sure. Probably badly. Yeah, we're going to let it all drop, guys. Because we need to move on, don't we? Yes, we do. Game over, little poor old Mario. Let me collapse this shock. Shock at how badly I played this. Oh, dear. Right, let's go to end. There we go. Right, let's go. And have a look at, uh, yeah, at the uh, story mode, guys. So, back in a sec. We are back on the menu, guys, on the mode select, I should say. Uh, obviously, we had a look at the fantastic classic version. I mean, the N64 version just looks glorious. It really does. Uh, yes, go back into one player. Of course, it is just me, obviously. And we'll go down to story mode this time. There we go. Yes, I'll be a guest again. And, of course, yeah. Who should we be? Should we be Wario? Yeah, we want a bit of naughtiness in life, don't we? And uh, then we'll skip down back to easy, of course. And, yeah, stage one, yeah, that will do nicely, thank you. Right, here we go with the story mode. Take your vitamins. At the moment, we all need a bit of Mario magic, don't we, for uh, this pandemic? <laughs> well deserved rest. I love the way it's like Paper Mario, the uh, character is fantastic the way they've done that. Mega Vitamins. Oh well, here we go. Here we go. Oh, playing against a computer. I've got no fucking chance there, have I? No, not really. No bloody chance. I tell you. 
gonna whip my ass. Oh, you bugger. Ah, oh, yep. Sod say already that. Oh. I'm already failing, guys. I'm failing already. Oh, yeah. Bugger. Well, that was the quickest one ever, wasn't it? Oh, replay. Come on. Oh, what happened there? Oh, I must have pressed the wrong button, guys. Oh, dear. See, all that as well. Uh, yeah, I'm not really getting this. Why do I keep dying? Oh. Not really sure, guys. Right, okay, we'll end and then start again, I suppose. Right, okay. Something was going a bit wafty, I think. I don't know. Very, very strange. Right, so. Hmm. That wasn't very good, was it? We'll stick with Warrior, and we'll go to easy again, and yeah, we'll just start again like that, guys, and obviously skip our way through the, uh, the story, because we've seen it all. See if it behaves this time, that was very odd. Maybe it was just me hitting the wrong button, you know what I'm like, what a fool. Well, hey, I guess I got rid of something there, it seems to be behaving, I really don't know, very strange. It was probably just me, guys. Probably was. Well, we need to get that round. Oh, bugger. Just did it wrong. Again. No big surprise. I did it wrong again. We need to get it to there. Oh, you sod. Oh, well. Don't want to shock everybody by doing well. them all in the wrong place, guys. As you might have been able to gather. That's better. Oh, damn me. Hmm. That's not going well. Not going well again. What about now? Oh, that's better. Actually achieving something is better than nothing. Although you might be screaming, you might as well not bother. Well, hey. Oh, yeah. Sod. Oh, dear. There's no hope, guys. No hope. Alright, let's see if we can get this little sucker down there, shall we? Oh. That's a bit better. Ah, get in there. Oh. Let's get rid of some of these. Let's try to, anyway. Not going to be much chance, is there? No, nope. because I've just mucked it all up again. Yeah, screwed up. Again. He's going to whip my bottom. Fancy me pressing the wrong button, eh? I know, no surprise there either, eh? Yeah, it looks like we're just going to die here, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, dear. But I'll tell you what, that shows you just how fantastic this flipping game is, doesn't it? I mean, that is wonderful, isn't it, eh? Right. Let's give it one more go, guys. My poor plane. One more. Looking it up already. Wicked, got rid of that. Hmm. Got them there. 
Yes, let's get rid of that one. Brilliant. So you can see what I'm trying to do here. <laughs> Whether it works out or not is another matter, isn't it? I don't know if I keep talking and uh, moving where I'm at. I could. I've got rid of that at least. Nice one. Gameplay seems to be uh, getting just a tad better, which is very helpful. Oh, you sort of really snooped himself there again. Oh, and oh, it's just getting worse, guys. Well, mucked it right up again. Flaming brilliant now. I, I love playing it, even though I'm getting completely nearly beaten. Love it. back in the time playing it on the Game Boy, you know, that, oh, that was such a fantastic game to play on there. Perfect for the Game Boy. <laughs> I love that sound. Oh, I'm still going, guys. That's actually quite incredible for me. As you all know. Oh, let's clear some of that at least. Oh, it's getting faster now, guys, getting faster. Well, too fast for me, anyway. <laughs> oh, come on, you bugger. Oh, I'm going to die again, guys. Here we go. Might as well get it over with, don't we? <laughs> because that was a fantastic look at this game, wasn't it? Eh? We're going to go to end. Yeah, that was superb. Really, really superb. Uh, we'll have a look at the other bits on the menu as I wrap this video up, I suppose. Right, back in a sec. Here we are again, guys. Selector mode. Obviously, we looked at classic. We looked at story. We're not going to look at versus computer in a way we did, didn't we, already? Um, so, yeah, I can't imagine that would be too hot for us to watch that again. Uh, then you've got flash. Clear levels by destroying the flashing virus. Ooh, shall we play on that one? Yeah. It'll be a very quick play, I'm sure. And then, of course, you've got Marathon there. Versus multiplayer. Ooh, like that, yeah. That's going to be the uh, yeah, the long way around. You can just keep going and going. Try to get the highest score possible in a set amount of time. So there's lots of choices here, guys. Wow. Lots of different ways to play it here. We shall take a look at this one. Here we go. Yeah, we shall pick. Who shall we pick? 
We don't need luck by picking somebody in particular. No, there's no luck with me, guys. No luck whatsoever. We've got lots of characters to choose from that. Wow, what a lot of different characters to choose. Wicked. Plenty of characters. We'll go for Mario this time, I think. Or should we go for... Hmm. Sorry about that noise there, that was my cat attacking the sofa. Um, yeah, let's have a look. We'll just go for Mario, I think. Yeah. No, we can't go for Mario. No, it won't let me. No. That's not fair. No, right, okay, we'll stick with him then. Yeah, easy. Of course. Easy, yeah. Easy. And... Low. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, we'll stick with that. Okay, that's cool. Oh my god, that's easy, isn't it? You're fucking joking. Dear me, eh? That's easy. Mm. Oh dear. Ain't nothing easy about that. <laughs> I think I'm going to be dead in a second already, guys. Seriously. Yes. How bad is that? Please, Louise. There's not going to be a blue or anything when I need one, is there? There we go. There's a blue. There's another one. Dead in a sec again. Yeah, I lose. What a surprise! Eh? Yeah, that was uh, again. You know, you're supposed to clear those viruses, but you've got no chance of me, have you? Let's try one more time. There we go, around my ass whipped again, guys. Deary me, eh? But yeah, that was a oh, fantastic look at this game, guys. There, there's no, well, not much point of looking at the other uh, choices that you had there, like with Marathon and whatever. It's just going over the same old thing, but I think that was a fantastic look. 
uh, Dr. Mario on the uh, Nintendo 64, guys. And again, one of my all-time favourite puzzle games, even though I played it complete and utter pants. Um, yeah, I enjoyed playing it anyway, even if you were painfully ripping your own hair out watching me. It's all right. <laughs> After that, fantastic game, guys. Back with my final thought. That is still fantastic to this day, even with my crap gameplay, guys. And you knew that was coming. I mean, you'd ball over with shock, wouldn't you, if um, I wasn't playing badly? Yeah, you'd literally fall on your ass with shock. Um, but yes, guys, what a fantastic version of Dr. Mario on the N64. Now, I wish to God that I had a fully boxed version. I don't only have a loose cart, unfortunately. Mm. They're very expensive to have it boxed. But um, yeah, I've, for years now, I've had my uh, my loose carts all on a shelf and you have to pull them out to look at the bloody, what it is, you know, I haven't got any end labels or anything like that. But I was just watching Gib84's fantastic video on how he made his own slip cases, a bit like the old um, Nintendo uh, NES slip cases, same kind of theory. And then he writes on there in some nice artwork, uh, the name of each game, and then they're sitting on the shelf and he knows exactly what's what. Well, Gordon, I'm sorry, mate, but I'm going to copy your idea like that because that is fantastic. I'm going to get myself some old uh, cardboard and everything else that I need and basically put my blue Peter head on, as you said, and uh, have a go, guys, because that's a oh, fantastic video that he did. Fantastic. Um, yeah, and it's such a nice way to have them displayed and know exactly what you've got there with your loose carts without spending too much because Gordon worked it out, actually, that it was going to cost him about 50 quid to... Uh, to buy the proper cases and what have you, the proper like, you know, the uh, the old plastic ones, you know, and then the end labels. So yeah, he, he did a stellar bloody job. So check his video out, guys. Um, I'll link it below. Fantastic, fantastic video. And he is one of the nicest guys in the bloody world anyway. Um, I've been talking to him for a very long time. And then the other day, um, when I did my um, one of my videos, he uh, said to me that he's got this... Uh, original Nokia Engage kicking around that he wanted to, do, to donate to the collection. Um, so I was absolutely bowled over by that. I mean, how blinking generous is that, guys? I mean, I had one already, but unfortunately, as I keep saying, years ago, we had a flood and that was one of the casualties. So literally, it doesn't work, guys. The motherboard was fried in it. Um, I just kept it as an example, really, as, a, as an ornament, really. So... Um, yep yeah, he sent it to me guys it works like a bloody treat so it's going to be featuring in an up-and-coming video very soon in fact and um, probably today um of what i consider to be my uh, gaming forms uh, a couple of them are just n series nokias but after you put uh, emulators on them and stuff like that uh, they become gaming forms uh, it'll also feature some other ones as well, some other gems, and it'll even have a honourable mention because it just has to be in there. And um, so, yeah, look out for that video, guys, coming very soon, where uh, Gordon's extremely generous donation will be featuring. Um, yeah, what a guy, what a guy. Check out his video, like I said, guys, for making these slip cases. So, oh, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Um, back to what we're actually supposed to be talking about here. Uh, with this has got to be one of the best versions of Dr. Mario that there is. It is fantastic. The music's brilliant. I love the story mode. Um, all the other modes as well are just as bloody good. You know, where you're clearing the viruses and what have you. Oh, fantastic. And there's such a lot of content there. That is the thing. And as much as I loved playing on the monochrome screen on the Game Boy back in the day, and on the NES, of course, which brought colour, um, oh, that this, for me, is the ultimate version of Dr. Mario. And I love it dearly on the N64. So, what do you think, guys? Is it one of your favourite puzzle games of all time? Stella, 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 bloody game. That's for sure. No matter how you play it, it's still fantastic. Um, so, yes, guys, comment below. What do you think? Is it in your uh, top five, at least? Or have you just bypassed it? You think it's too Tetrisy? But then a hell of a lot of them are very Tetrisy, aren't they? You can see how 
Tetris uh, brought on a winning formula, can't you? And everybody jumped on the uh, bandwagon, including Nintendo themselves, guys. So, yeah. What a doozy of a game. I love it, love it, love it. And play it very badly, as I have discovered making this video. Yeah, very rusty, guys, to say the bloody least. But there you go, guys. That is another one of my favourite puzzle games. Now, as I said, guys, look out for that mobile phone. One coming up, or gaming phone video coming up featuring the kind donation from gib84 <sighs> thank you thank you thank you gordon i can't say it enough i know i should have checked with you really whether it was all right to give you a shout out but i know i'm, I'm sure you're absolutely fine with it if not you can slap my ass um and call me shirley if you like but yes um brilliant absolutely brilliant i i, I just can't get over it guys he's such a generous generous guy and it's come to a fantastic home in this collection. I banged a new battery in it, uh, had a charger already kicking around. And as I said, it works a bloody treat. Oh my word, does it? Um, obviously I had the uh, Engage QD already. So to have the two side by side on a shelf is beautiful. In my, in my mind anyway, because I love the bloody Engage. You know how much I love the Engage. Um, yeah, it's a very Marmite one, that one. A lot of people bloody hate the old taco phone, but uh, I happen to love it to bits. So, yeah, look out for that up-and-coming video of my video. I won't be showing actual um, emulators and things like that on it. I'll try and show a bit of, uh, you know, a little bit here and there of maybe some kind of games playing on some of them. Um, but, yeah, because I haven't tracked down the memory cards for the, uh, the N-Series phones, I just can't seem to get all of them at the moment they're too expensive when you see them on ebay but i will it will be coming guys in a future video as soon as i track down those very obscure memory cards um so yeah but look out for the look at that's what it'll be a look at my uh gaming phone collection so right guys with that i'm just gonna say the usuals if you're not subbed already please drop me a sub give me a thumbs up and of course tap the bell icon to be informed of any up and coming videos or have any chance of it and tap the all icon to make sure and guys i'm gonna have to add this every time now at the end oh, i know some people are gonna hate me for this but yeah i've started a patreon page guys uh, if you go over to my patreon page which will be linked below there is a video there that explains why i've done it and uh, yeah and with that guys i'm gonna love you and leave you and i'm gonna say video in choose and goodbye, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys.